Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do the third update to a project pan that is called This Is Me. And this is created by Jessica. Jessica is amazing and I have talked about her a lot on my channel. She is just amazing and she is so creative with these project pans. She is just... She is just amazing. I have kind of red eyes because I'm tired. We have celebrated my birthday all day today. For the last time. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm a day or two late compared to when I get this up. But I'm just busy in December. I just am. My birthday is and then Christmas and New Year's Eve and family time and yeah, we're crazy. Busy and I'm busy at work so I'm filming when I can and they left uh, a little bit earlier than expected so I have some time to film before I lay flat on the couch or <laughs> go to sleep in my bed because I'm tired. We chose 10 items that could relate to the movie The Greatest Showman or that just said something about us or described us or something like that. So yes, I picked my 10 items. W7 Heavy. I have said that two times already because in the other updates I have an empty and I have an exciting empty. I'm really excited about it. But yes, I have some great progress as well. So let me just show you and yeah. <laughs> and it hasn't even been a month I think or maybe it has. I know I was late last update as well but Never mind. Let's get into the products. Oh yeah, this project is a collab, by the way, with a bunch of lovely ladies. I have said that so many times before, and I have collabed with them so many times before, so I can't stop staring at my more red eye because I'm just, I'm just tired. So, let me show you the MT for this update. My MT for this update, there is 7 Matte Dreamer Loose Powder. I'm really excited. I have finished this so quickly, quicker than I ever thought I would. So I started in the intro up here, first update, second update, and then I finished this small bit off. I'm really excited about this. So this is an empty for the product. So now I have nine items to go, but some of them I think I can finish either by next update or the update after. So I'm excited. The W7 Face Fantasy Matte Finish Foundation. Or oh, if you want to know why I chose these products, you should check out the intro where I talk more about that. But this foundation is nice. I have it on today mixed in with a lighter shade to match me because this is definitely a little bit too dark. So I have been mixing it and I have made nice progress as well. So intro, first update, second update and now I'm down to here. This is getting so, so, so hard to pump out. That means I could deep cut this very soon and scrape it all out. So I definitely think this is an empty by next update. Something that might be done by next update or at least very close is my W7 Hideout Full Cover Concealer. This is it right here. As you can see, it's very empty because I have nice progress. First and intro and first update. That line. Second update and now I'm down to here. So I think there might be a chance for me to finish this off by next update. Because I think there's almost this amount in between the update lines. What do you think? Then we have W7 Nightlight. I mentioned last time this is working as a corrector. I have it on right now underneath my concealer. Which is smudged into my mascara. <laughs> um, but yes. This is a very, very lovely product for a correcting lightening thing underneath foundation and concealer. So yes, not moving very much though, but it is at the line now or just below it, like m less than one millimeter below the line. It's going slow, but I am using it and I actually enjoy it. I don't use it every single day, but when I remember, I really enjoy it. So that is just a nah, product for this update. Project overall. There is some glitter primer, Sparkle Stay. I marked this as my intro line and I can't do another line. I'm, or maybe I can, 
there's some air in it. I have tried to get it out, but I am still at the line kind of just because you don't need a lot at all for this. So it is insane of me to even put this in the project, but I'm actually using it a fair bit now. So that's always a good sign. My candy flush blush from W7 as well. I have some marks in it now. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see there? I don't have a dip or anything, but you can definitely see wear on the blush now, which is more than last time. And I still am thinking about depotting this. Haven't happened yet. <laughs> Sorry about my life. A category for eyeliners. I have the Vivid Brights in Vivid Envy and Vivid Sapphire in still. I have gotten so many compliments on the blue eyeliner. It is a, it's actually insane how many compliments I get with this eyeliner. I have worn it twice at work and a lot of people says, oh my god, that is amazing. What is it? <laughs> Just this. Very cheap but beautiful blue eyeliner. And I have worn it in two updates, I think, uh, for Pertex. And you guys have been all over this eyeliner. It is so nice. So it's not going anytime soon because it's still working perfectly fine. And my eyes are not watering, watering or anything. So this is staying still. I have, I'm saying this because I have the... the I've considered decluttering these eyeliners before the end of the year, but it's still fine. This is at least. I need to wear this a few times before I make up my mind about decluttering this. Um, it's just because it's not this green. It's kind of... You see? It's two, it's two different kind of greens. So this is just a more muted forest green. I really wanted it to be this vivid and bright. I don't have any progress on my Gosh Intense lip color. Nope. I am wearing it here and there though. I love it, but it's not done. Then my two products that I have on my paper. The first one is a lip liner from eBay. It is this beautiful red berry shade. This one right here. I have it underneath the other lip product that I have in this project as well. I love it. Um, the color, not the formula. The color is beautiful. Lipstick I have is the Kiss and Trip Holographic Lipstick. This one right here. So, yeah, this is all I have left. If you look at my paper, I have used up quite a bit and I was actually very surprised about that. So, let me show you. This is the new line for the lip liner. As you can see, I have made steady progress. I still have this much to go though. I don't know if that is going to happen, but I am chugging away and I'm pretty excited about that actually. Then we have the lipstick over here. I didn't make progress until last time and then I am done here. So that is also steady progress. I'm really excited about that because I didn't think I was doing that good here in December with these because I have worn a lot of no lippy days. I hope you guys enjoyed. I think I have made really nice progress on some of these. Well, I have made great progress on these items and I'm pretty excited about it actually because I actually thought I was doing really bad but I'm doing pretty good. I'm really excited about that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this update. If you want to check out the other ladies they are linked down below as always as well as my playlist for this project. You can always find those in the description box of my videos or in the end slide that is playing in one second. I hope you guys enjoyed. Click subscribe down below if you want to see more of me. I am starting so many projects next year in like three days. Insane. But I'm really excited about filming those pretty, pretty soon. You should check those out when they come up. So subscribe down below if you want to see Panda Palette, Project Pants, Project Pan Roulettes and stuff like that. I'm pretty excited about it because most of them are collabs. And I'm doing it with the most amazing people here in the panning community and I'm really excited about it. So, longest outro ever, but I really hope you enjoyed this video and until my next one, please take care. Bye!